Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in to my online lesson on adding and subtracting standard form. So the skill you need to have mastered before you attempt this is how to convert numbers into an out of standard form or how to write them in correct standard form. So this question here says work out 3.7 times 10 to the 5, take away 2.9 times 10 to the 4. So I could write these numbers out as ordinary numbers first, complete the subtraction, then write back in standard form. But as the numbers get bigger, as the indice here and here gets bigger, this will become more and more complicated and I'm actually likely to make a mistake. There is a way of solving these problems by just working in standard form the whole way through. And this is how we do it. The first thing I've got to do is make sure that the number in the indices here and here are the same. So they're not the same at the moment. So I'm going to either make this 5 into a 4 so that they'll both be 4s or I'm going to make the 4 into a 5 so they'll both be 5s. Usually the easiest way of doing this is to make them both into the bigger of the two numbers. So I'm going to make them both into 5s. So I have 3.7 times 10 to the 5 I haven't altered this at all, that's just staying as it is. And here, if I'm changing this into times 10 to the 5, I have raised my power by 1, I've multiplied this by 10, then I have to divide this by 10 in order to keep it the same number. So that's 0 0.29 times 10 to the 5. So now I can complete my subtraction. It's kind of like when you add fractions, you have to have a common denominator. But when you add and subtract standard form, we have to have a common indices. Okay, so I'm going to do 3.7 take away 0.29. And the answer is going to be whatever that is, times 10 to the 5. So 3.7 take away 0.29 is 3.41 times 10 to the power of 5. And that's my answer. This is an addition question. It is slightly harder. So you will notice that here I have a 7 in my indices and a 5. So it's going to be harder to make these both the same. Now, as before, I can either make this into a 5 or I can make this into a 7 or actually I could make them both into 6s. But as I said last time, the easiest way of doing it is usually to make them into the bigger of the two powers. So I'm going to make them both into a times 10 to the power of 7. I could choose another way and I should get the same answer. It just saves me doing a bit of um, simplifying when I get to the end. So I'm going to leave the first bit as it is. I'm going to have 5.2 times 10 to the power of 7. Add. And then here, if I change this to times 10 to the power of 7, I've actually raised the indices by 2 to get from 5 to 7. So I've times this by 10 twice to get here. So this 9.6 needs dividing by 10 twice. So if I divide it by 10 once, that's 0 0.96. And if I divide it by 10 again, it's 0 0.096. So that's why this question is a slightly more complicated one. So now I do my addition. So I've got 5.2, add 0.096, and my answer is going to be times 10 to the 7. So 5.2 times no, um, add 0.096 is 5.296 times 10 to the 7. That's adding standard form done. Here are two questions for you to try. Remember you're making the indices the same first before you add or subtract the numbers. If you pause the video, the full word solution is on the next page. Here's the completed solutions. 
So in the first question, I made both of my indices into a four. Um, in the second question, I made them both into sixes. Either way, you should have got these solutions here at the bottom. If you did choose a different indices, so if in the first one you did choose a three, make them both into threes, you should have got the same answer eventually if you write your answer in correct standard form. So just beware, if you don't choose the bigger of the two indices, you will have to simplify your answer at the end. Thank you for watching.